So this object is an asan, uh, which is a, a funerary praise poem for a deceased individual. It's made by Fawn Blacksmiths in the Republic of Benin. And uh, this one is entirely forged. All the, the figures and the representation of plants and the general kind of home and farm life represented by this tableau is entirely forged in iron. This is one of the largest, more complex forgings that blacksmiths would make. There's many, many parts, of course, that one can see that goes into the making of it. The central shaft is uh, forge welded together with all of the umbrella-like uh, diagonals uh, into one uh, structural element at the center. The tree that's represented here, which is full in fruit, is made up of perhaps 15, 16 different uh, leaf-like shapes that are all forge welded together into one piece. At the very back, behind uh, the person on the throne, is represented a knife in a hand that's coming out of the ground. The symbology, of course, is the fact that this person intends to continue to rule from the grave and that the family uh, will hold this person's memory uh, as if he were still alive. Asan, when commissioned, they represent a story that's told by the person who's paying for the piece. And that's how this uh, person, the deceased person, will be represented. It's not uncommon to have more than one asan representing that person's life, depending on how important he was inside the community. There may be many different uh, stories told and many different asan commissioned to honor the person who has died.